Hi there, this is Therese Couture of TherezeSquared.com. Thank you for joining me today. Today I want to talk about how to optimize your Google Plus profile. So um, if you're not on Google Plus, you probably will be very soon. And um, what I found is that it is a powerful tool that you will want to use uh, in your uh, marketing. So I wanted to go over how you can quickly optimize Google Plus. Um, these tips are really going to just be focused on how to optimize your headline and how to optimize your about or slash bio page. Um, there's a lot of other tips, but I wanted to get start off with these two. So the first thing when someone lands on your page of Google+, they will see a page like this one. And the first thing that they will most likely read besides your name is your headline. So what I've noticed is that a lot of people don't have anything up there in their headline or it's very general. Um, so what I would suggest is that you um, think about what is the benefit or what is the value that you provide to your clients, to your customers, and write that. You know, write it in a catchy way. So I have mine, your go-to gal for social media and creative online marketing. I make movies too, smiley face, and then my website. So this is the first thing that people see when they land on my page. So it shows a little bit about my, about my personality. And also, um, I have included my website up there. Just in case the person doesn't click on about, they already know where they can find me online. So that's just a super um, a ninja trick for you guys. And then um, if we go to about, let's say someone is, is interested in you and they add to their circle, the next place they'll probably go to is your about page. So this is my about page. And what I've noticed is that a lot of people don't have this filled out at all. So um, number one, you don't want to do that. But there are ways that you can really um, optimize your introduction and this is the section I'm talking about, just this introduction section, to make people uh, want to connect with you and want to know more about you. So the first thing is that you, I recommend that you write this in first person. I've seen people write it in third person, and I relate more so to people who write this in first person, um, just because it doesn't feel like this um, stuffy kind of bio. And you can, and you know what, you'll write it in your true writing voice when you write this in first person. So pretty much, what do you do? And then just a couple of other things that I want you to think about is to use the formatting tool. So I'm just going to click on edit profile so you could see what I'm talking about. And if I click on this section, you'll see that it brings up this pop-up box um, and I can literally uh, edit it like formatting like a Word document with bold, italic, underline, include links, numbered, bullets, etc. So I really suggest that you use these formatting tools to bring the reader's eye to the sections that are important in your bio. I really don't see anyone, um, many people doing this. I don't know if I've seen someone doing this, but um, really use the formatting tool to bring the reader's eye uh, to where you want them to pay the most attention to. So if you go to my bio, you'll see that um, where I use bold is basically what I do. Um, and I really want to highlight my uh, online training programs and also about my film that's actually going to be coming out in the next couple of weeks. So those are the things I want people to pay attention to when they are um, reading my bio. So their eye naturally goes there. So another thing you want to do to optimize your bio is to create links. So it's very easy. Once again, it's just in that formatting, um, in that formatting pop-up box, you can literally create links just 
whatever you want to select and then put in a link you can even put in a web address so you definitely want to include some links um, what I noticed is that either people don't use this feature or use it too much I would say you know if you don't have all these links back to back to back in your bio it, it makes it very hard to read if you do have a couple of links spread them out um, so that would be my advice in terms of using links um, the other thing I recommend is when you're writing your introduction to write very short paragraphs I mean literally the paragraph can be one sentence or two sentences max um, you know it's just much much easier to read this is the same kind of uh, technique you would use for blogging so I would definitely recommend using this technique when writing your bio so those are the quick tips I wanted to share with you today on how you can optimize your Google Plus profile headline and your introduction so if you like this video please like it and please share it over your social networks and of course give it a plus one and uh, head over to my blog TheresSquared.com and if you haven't signed up for the newsletter sign up for the weekly newsletter where you will get naked fresh all natural real advice on how to grow your online presence so thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon bye